So with the release of watchOS 5 and the recent release of the new Series 4 Apple Watch, I think it's time for us to go ahead and take a look at 10 cool hidden features, tips and tricks for the Apple Watch. Let's go ahead and get started. Now for our first one is the control center. It is now fully customizable and to do this you simply bring up the control center and you're going to see this edit tab down here. Simply tap on this and similar to like how you normally rearrange your applications, simply press and hold them and you go arrange it to however you like it. So that all your most used ones that you find yourself using the most on the control center you could easily move up top and once you're done simply just tap done and that's it. Now tap for speak is going to be our next one. Now this only works on the Mi Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse watch face which got released on a older watch OS. But not a lot of people know about this but you can actually tap and either Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse will actually speak to you at the time. And the reason why a lot of people don't know about this feature is because most of the time the user has their, phone, their watch on mute and it has to be unmuted for this to work. So. To set it all up, you have to go to your sound and haptics, make sure your watch is not on mute, on silent mode, scroll down to tap to speak, enable this, and just simply change to either two watch faces, and then just tap, and it tells you the time. A cool trick and a feature it's to easily show to your friends. For our number three is a better way to silent your incoming phone calls. Instead of originally hitting a power button on your smartphone or just hitting denied altogether to end the call, if you actually cover up the watch, it will automatically silent the ring from your watch as well as your phone. And it's a lot quicker than taking out your phone and tapping a power button. Now for our next one, while we're still at the topic of answering phone calls, whenever you receive a phone call on your wrist, you might think the only two options you have is to answer or hang up. Well, you can actually scroll up and it'll actually give you more options down here. We see here we get the option to send a message or answer on our phone. Now this next one is the Find My Apple Watch feature. Now, I didn't know about this, but whenever you log into your iCloud account on the website or if you use the Find My Phone option application on your smartphone, if you pin your Apple Watch, it will actually utilize the heart rate monitor system to flash green. This is really great and useful if you're trying to find your watch in a low lit environment. So for this next one, let's go ahead and do a quick revisit on the camera shutter application. The viewfinder, especially on the latest series Apple Watch, looks a lot more pleasant, especially when you have it on portrait mode. This round screen edge that it has, screen to body ratio, definitely does make the viewfinder a lot more pleasant to look at. Of course, we still have the same simple camera controls. We can simply tap here to take the photo or we can use, utilize the timer that it has to get in position when taking a photo. This application is definitely a lot more pleasant to look at on the Series 4. And then if we go to the application page where we see all of our icons, you can still 3 press to change to the list view if you like doing that. So if you have a ton of applications, you might find it easier for you by just doing it with the list view with the alphabetical order. Another nifty feature that I think everybody should know at least, on the weather app, if you want to switch it to percentage, you can simply 3D press just like the grid and you can select it to rain percentage and weather condition, you can also let it show the temperature instead of the weather icons they normally put. So cool way to really customize it. And of course, going back to the control center, let's say you lost your phone. We already know we could pin our phone by simply tapping it and it will send out a sound beacon on our smartphone. But if you press and hold it, not only does it activate the sound, but it will also activate the camera flash itself. So if you're locating it in a dark environment, this is a nifty trick to definitely know. Now, in for number 10 is how to add music to your Apple Watch. The process is extremely easy. Just simply launch the Apple Watch app and go down to your music side. And then from here, simply tap add music. And you can do it by artist, album, genre. I like to personally do it is playlist. Simply select the playlist you want. And uh, that's it. The music will automatically be imported. So you could simply leave your phone behind and pair a set of Bluetooth headphones to the Apple Watch itself. Now this is going to be the last one and it's a bit of a bonus since if you're like me, really likes this new clock interface but you're not a huge fan of the colors. Well there is a way you could actually make it all be set to one color. So 
for example if we go to our application and you go into general go to accessibility and enabled grayscale and then if we go back to look at our watch everything is now set at one color so it's more eye pleasing now to look at now although there is a small downside to this all of our applications are now set to this one gray color but there is a benefit to this in theory this should also boost our battery life percentage on our watch and then again the series 4 doesn't have any issues with battery life but it doesn't hurt to have extra juice am i right and that's uh, pretty much it hopefully this video was helpful for you guys on finding some cool hidden features some new tricks and hopefully this video helped you guys out answering some of the questions you guys asked me in the past but if you guys found this video useful and informative i really appreciate it if you could give it a good thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel because uh, you want to stay tuned for the next video that's coming out in the near future where I cover pretty much every single feature of the Apple Watch so make sure you stay tuned for that video but as always thank you guys for watching take care peace